welcome back. Now, it seems like a simple concept. We all want to be a happier you, but getting there, that's kind of the hard part. Exactly. So we all want to know, what are the top secrets of some of the most successful people in sports, special forces, and in business? And today we are going to learn the tips and tools to fearless freedom and a happier you. To guide us along the way, we have Dr. Kathy Greenberg here with us. Welcome, Kathy. Hello, how are you again? Oh, great. It's wonderful to see you. Thank you. So we're talking about top secrets of some of the most successful people, and I love that. What are some of the samples of those success secrets? Well, we know that there are 12 of them in our new book, Fearless Leaders, Sharpen Your Focus. We've talked about a couple of them. Hopefully throughout the year, we'll continue to speak about them. But one of them that's really exciting, and I think so important for us, is to recognize that you cannot continue to be happy in life if you're walking around blaming, complaining, and making excuses. So let me ask you something. When was the last time you made an excuse? Oh, probably right before this. No. <laughs> <laughs> we do it all the time. Yeah. yeah. We do. And, you know, we don't do it to characteristically make someone wrong or to, to blame anybody for anything. Unfortunately, there are consequences to time management. There are consequences to trying to do too much in a busy day. But we know that blaming, complaining, and making excuses is not the way we should be behaving. And so one of the things I ask people is to think about the trap Mm -hmm. that you fall into on a daily ba basis because of time constraints or taking on too much that you can avoid so that the blaming, complaining, and excuses can dissolve away. I'm so intrigued by that. What, give us some examples of things that we can change in our daily routine. One of the things we can do is try not to overwhelm yourself with diets. You know, before the holidays, it's a recipe, a recipe, a recipe, and everybody's cooking, cooking, cooking. And then January comes, and it's diet, 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 right? Everybody's trying to catch up to the holidays. And one of the things that I tell people is pick one thing. Okay, if it's salt, reduce salt. If it's sugar, reduce sugar. If it's intake more water, intake more water. Try not to do them all at the same time. Oh, I'm going to reduce sugar, I'm going to reduce salt and drink more water. It's not necessarily the answer for each of us, mm -hmm. but try to be gentle with yourself. You'll be able to avoid the blaming, complaining, and excuses a lot easier. And I think uh, a lot of that, I always say, if you can't identify what the problem is, how, how is it that you're going to fix it? So times Absolutely. when you're making an excuse or you're just complaining about it, you're not really addressing what needs to be fixed. Absolutely. The root cause. So yeah. make sure that you understand where that comes from. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Now, I like that you talk about showing up prepared. What does that mean to you? How do you prepare as a parent, as a teacher, as a friend? What are some of the ways we can do that? Well, in the book, we talk about the importance of showing up ready. And why do you show up ready? Because just as we learned from many of your guests on the show, when you have an aligned mind, which we'll talk about next, you can show up ready. Showing up ready means you're prepared mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically. You know what your nutritional needs are, so you don't leave the house on an empty mm -hmm. stomach. You know that coffee is going to make you a little bit jittery, so drink some decaf or switch to an herbal tea. With your kids, how do you get them prepared? I always used to make my kids lay their clothes out the night before school. I would have them put their book bags by the door. I would have my loved one make sure that whatever they needed, their computer, their keys, were where they could find them. Them because that way you can zip out and it's not my responsibility it's their responsibility but once you learn them how to show up ready they do sports teams working warriors all of us who have a busy life can really benefit from showing up ready every day and that goes to what you were talking about aligning the mind as well yes aligning the mind or having an aligned mind is the third one we'll talk about today and that one's one of my favorites how, how often do you get up and the first thing that shoots into your head is all the things that you have to get done that day. Oh, Every I'm morning. guilty of that, yeah. yes. Every morning. I mean, it's yeah. amazing that we even get out of bed sometimes with all of the little things that that hamster is thinking about in our heads as he's churning on his little wheel. Mm -hmm. And the only way to get the hamster to stop churning is for us to have an aligned mind. So think about what you're capable of getting done in that day and then aligning your schedule and your energy level to that. I always say to people, think about what you need, what you're gonna take in, and what you're gonna toss. Think about when you pick up your cell phone and you go to your messages, think about, do I wanna read that one first? Mm -hmm. And think about what you wanna toss to somebody else. 
do I really want to give that message to that person now? They're probably en route to work, or they're probably taking their kids to school, or they're probably thinking about what they need to do for a loved one who's in need. So making sure that you have an aligned mind about what you want out of the day and what you'd like to prepare others to be doing throughout the day helps you get a great start. And I love a lot of the things that you say, Kathy, because there are things we can all do. This isn't to, to one specific person. And very it's simple. Very much about being mindful. And I know we're going to get all 12 of those tips in the book. So I want to thank you so much for sharing some of those. You're with welcome. Us. Thanks for having thank me. Thank you. Absolutely. And for more information on Dr. Kathy Greenberg, you can log on to her website, drkathygreenberg.com.